Now we've been telling you how you could have the opportunity to present GMTV from this very sofa. Yep, Richard uh, will be reminding that's you. That's the sofa, now, by the way. In you just know. a moment. That was it, was sofa. it? Yeah, that's the sofa you'll be on. I've always wondered what it was. Uh, <laughs> first, though, here's a trip down memory lane for our weather girls who helped brighten up our day. When I was a journalism student, I'd applied way back as a job as an on screen journalist with an interest in the weather. And I got an audition. I did a postgrad uh, in weather, meteorology, with the Met Office before starting as a forecaster. Eventually reaching East Anglia, where I started on TV. About 10 years ago, 1997, I heard that GMTV were looking for a female weather presenter, so I applied. I joined GMTV in the year of 2000. The main talent that's needed to be a weather presenter is to be able to take what is essentially a lot of scientific information and put it across in a way that people at home can understand. We don't use autocue, and a lot of people think we do. And the screen behind us obviously is blank as well. We use uh, computer-generated graphics. Just as the sun is coming up, especially during the summer months, I've seen some amazing sights. Beautiful views like this. One thing that Ben and Kate do, and I think it's really naughty, to be honest, is that when they are filling for time, there's too much time, they just talk about my height. As a GMTV weather presenter, it's always important to take your job very seriously. Andrea's here now. What a cute little... Oh! <laughs> oh. Resting on the normal <laughs> sit down. Rest yourself, Andrea. <laughs> Patron saint of... <laughs> Where are we? Alone here. And even presenting indoors has its hazards. The clouds and rain across central... Oh! Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> it's just the light up there. Right. <laughs> oh! Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Do you want to... Yeah. <laughs> and be prepared for whatever oh, nature can throw at you. My hat had my wellies and I even had my umbrella. That's how windy it is this morning. I can't make up my mind whether it's really windy or this is cheap tap. Make sure you always make a splash. And just the odd... Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear me. Oh, Stopping. The best advice that I could give anybody wanting to be a weather presenter is be yourself. Obviously have a real passion for the weather first and just go for it because it's a great job. Oh, I tell you what. Everyone was very worried when Claire got drowned practically, didn't they? I was really scared because she just completely disappeared. She I would, she's only that big. Horrible TV <laughs> moment. Yeah, look, we're filling <laughs> for time, by the way. Should we talk about Claire's height? Yeah. She's about that much. What isn't height? It? I don't know, nothing of her. Richard is in one of our GMTV edits. He's huge, morning. by the way. We have to scale everything up to make him look normal size. <laughs> He's definitely 16 by 9, aren't you? Rich? <laughs> yes. I just saw Claire, actually. She just walked under the desk. She's fine. She's just off for a bacon butter. Yeah, life on the open road, the weather girls. That could be you guys at home, of course if you enter uh, a sofa factor it's your